we have the luxury of often having children come in with abdominal pain. We worry about appendicitis, so we often start scanning for appendicitis, but we may find unexpected findings. So I'm going to start with the linear transducer um, to look for the appendix. Put a nice amount of gel. Give pain medicine when indicated. Usually when someone comes in with a lot of abdominal pain and you're going to be pressing down in the right lower quadrant, it's helpful to give either intranasal fentanyl, uh, morphine, or even Motrin. So when we start scanning, we put a copious amount of gel and we'll start with the indicator towards the patient's right. So I start scanning either where they say it hurts the most or where I think McBurney's point is. And I'm gonna try and find the psoas muscle and the iliac vessels, but wait a second. I don't see the appendix, but I see some poop. Howdy -ho! When did you poop last? Was it normal or was it hard? Hmm, dad, is he normally constipated? Because we can see here, there's a lot of poop. I can't see your appendix because there's so much poop. It's this speckly stuff. I can't compress it. So I can't say entirely that this child doesn't have appendicitis, but I'm actually going to look for constipation now. So I'm going to change my probe to the phase array probe, and I'm going to measure the rectal diameter. So now what I'm going to do is put the probe just superior to the pubic bone. So I'm going to find the bladder in transverse view. I'm going to decrease the far gain because it's too bright. And what I'm going to look for is the rectal crescent. So I fan through. We have this rectal crescent right there, and that is the rectum. Took me so long to figure that out. And you fan through to find the region where that crescent is the largest, and we're going to freeze that image. We can scroll back, and what we want to find is this hyperechoic rectal crescent, and we're going to measure at the base of each side of that rectal crescent. Here and here. So what we found in our study was that if you use a cutoff of 3.8 centimeters, this correlates with a history by Rome criteria for constipation for constipation. So while this is only one measurement, if you wanted a more comprehensive evaluation of constipation, you'd look at the left upper quadrant and right upper quadrant, and you'd see the stool like we had seen at the right lower quadrant. But this is a nice, quick, and easy measurement to see if the abdominal pain is from constipation. And now that's your hot poop, I mean, tip for the day. Now you start scanning.